Okay. And then the flag of St. George is the red and white one, and that's the English flag. What's the flag of St. George? So that's the English flag. Are you real people? Fake people, I knew it. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh, Do we man. look like AIs? Um, I don't think so. So wait, so, why are there all these different flags? Because What's the rules the with that? the United Kingdom of Great Britain, right? Which is like a conglomerate. It's a bunch of different countries. So we have our own flag for that. Okay. And then you have different countries like e- England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And they all have their own flags. Right. So we have the, that flag, the, one, the, the white one with the red cross in it. Yeah. Is England's flag. England as in all of Britain. No, as in England, the country of England. Okay. But isn't, I'm going to sound really stupid right now. No, it's okay. It's confusing. A lot of Brits don't know this either, so don't worry. Okay. Yeah, so there's the, the United Kingdom. Okay. Right. The UK flag is everybody, Scotland yeah. included. United Kingdom of Great Britain. An island is the, uh, the long term. Okay. And that is the whole area of England. I, here, yeah. This is them? So that's the United Kingdom. It's called the Union Jack. Right. That's the most famous that's one of the all one, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the greatest flags ever, if not the it greatest It is a flag really ever. cool flag. America's flag is pretty sick, too. I'm not going to lie. And then. Although, look at Scotland. Scotland's flag is cool. I well, love it. The flag they use is the Cross of St. Andrews. That White and blue one. That's the white it. and blue one? Yeah, that's the, the one. Cross the cross of St. Andrews. Yeah, it's a beautiful flag. And I then love the, saying that in the Scottish accent. The Saint cross Andrews. of St. Andrews. <laughs> it's pretty good. And then the, the one down below, the white and red one, the cross, St. George's Wales? cross. Oh, this one Wales here? is cool. Wales has the dragon on it. That's a sick flag, yeah, too, I gotta say. So or I don't know if it's a dragon, but it looks like a dragon. That one, the white one with the red cross, that's the cross of St. George, and that's the flag for England. That's England's flag. For St. George. So what's the story with that? St. George, I believe, was the one who fought a dragon. What? I believe. Let me look at this St. George fought a dragon? I believe that was St. George. What? I could be completely wrong. St. George. And Northern Ireland's flag is very St. George-esque, right? Yeah, let me see what this flag. I'm going to reply to this guy. Huh? <laughs> Are you fake people? Are you fake people? Are you, fake people? Are you real people? I love how he goes, fake people, I knew it. <laughs> like we did something that <laughs> right. proved that we were fake. We are robots. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about before we go on too long okay. is the Conjuring House is for sale. How much? 1.2 million. I can't afford it. I want to go and buy it. Really? Why would you buy that, though? It's the worst investment so of all time. So this is so interesting. So in the 70s, the Perrin family lived there. Yeah. And they became very famous because of this haunted place. And this house is, it's my house. Like, it's gorgeous. It's the yeah. exact kind of house I want to have. It's this old. <laughs> haunted? No, not that the- part. But it's this old, like, <laughs> rustic feel with a big fireplace and kind yeah. of, I think it's gorgeous. So it was, this family moved in there and they immediately started saying things were crazy. Like, their children saw apparitions around the place. They, oh, apparently a scythe was thrown and almost hit the mother what one day like crazy stuff was happening wait but it was their scythe right like the ghost didn't come with weapons yeah no he didn't bring okay. that <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know <laughs> it was like a scythe that was on the lot and it was gotcha like, okay that's bleep so there was all this crazy stuff happening so they got an um lorraine warren who's that very famous paranormal investigator and that's the main girl in the movies yes yeah, yeah. okay so okay. The, she's the one who goes and investigates so yeah. obviously there's movies about it now the conjuring right. the family that, that lives there at the moment moved in knowing it was haunted uh-huh. they were interested in it they're paranormal investigators themselves wow. and they said when they moved in what they did is they spent the first like week or so sleeping in camp beds in the living room and were like what? and spoke to the spirits and said you know we're gonna be living here we want to be at peace with you and kind of slow instead of just moving in and taking over the house and they said they've only had really positive experiences what with the ghosts positive like they've seen paranormal things but it's always been like you know chill like they're going down for tea and then they just see somebody and it's like hey good morning John. kind of like they said they saw a figure in the doorway but it didn't look like malevolent in any way it was it very, didn't feel it didn't feel dangerous dark. it was yeah. just more curious and they they Whoa. run it as like a place that paranormal investigators can come and look around yeah and they say it's been great so far but they're getting older they want to retire so they're selling the Conjuring House right now. This wow. really famous house from the 70s. 
um, for 1.2 million. That's and the lot around it. It looks. It's cool. kind of surprising. It's that low, though, right? It, I think it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but who cares? It's the most famous haunted house of all time. Although, no, maybe yeah. Amityville is more. Or the one that um, the Winchester Rifle Museum. What is that? You don't know about the Winchester Rifle? House? No, tell me about. Oh, this. you're gonna love this. So, the Winchester family made rifles, right? Yeah, pull up the picture. The Mystery House. Mystery House. It's is one of my it. favorite things just to read about it's so interesting we need a dark ominous photo though yeah go to images so what's the story with this so the winchester family made winchester rifles and they were very famous for making these rifles sarah winchester who was one of the lost descendants of the winchester family okay. um bought this property this house she claimed that she was haunted by the spirits of people who've been killed by winchester rifles whoa and she would hold these seances <gasps> every night and basically claimed that she was terrorized and like haunted by these spirits and they told her the only way that they would leave her alone is if she built a house to appease them so she has a fortune right she's the Winchester what? heiress she built this insane house in california with like 13 staircases doors that lead to nowhere trick rooms it's like insane to find your way around this place. She sounds she sounds and every night un- she, unwell. I think she was. Every night she would lock herself in her room and do these seances and just kept building wow. and building according to the um the instructions of the ghosts. And so there's what? like like rooms that slope downwards and stairs that lead nowhere and I mean what? it's huge this place. Look at this place. Yeah. And like trick doors and it's like a rabbit hutch to find your way around. It's a crazy wow and she lived there place. and now it's a museum that's so crazy yeah it's really cool i really want to go visit you can go do tours of it can you imagine like telling the construction guys like they're like uh Amerima, what kind of flooring are you looking for this room hold on one second yeah. hold on one second they say they want oak wood yeah exactly <laughs> or like build a staircase but it can't lead anywhere you know <laughs> doors are open to walls and <laughs> <laughs> it's just how i like it that's nuts. Um, and That's so she built this house to keep the ghosts quiet, I guess. she alive? I believe she passed away. I believe this was a while ago she built or this. Or did she? Are you, how old is that house, do you think? The house, I don't know. It'll say on the Wikipedia. I have no clue. Wow, that's so The crazy. house from The Conjuring Story was built in like the 1700s. What would you prefer? The Winchester, the house in The Conjuring, oh, no, the conjuring or Amityville? House. I don't want a house that has too many different doorways and staircases. I'd lose my things too much. Conjuring house. Is it Victorian? No, it's from the 1700s. Oh, so it's like colonial? It's beautiful inside. This one here? Yeah. The outside looks crap. Don't judge the outside. Oh. Inside, okay. it's, it's, I think it's really pretty. This one? Yeah. Really? It's just got like a rustic feel to it. I love that style. It needs a lot of work. This one? No. No, this thing? It's that, <laughs> that thing. Look inside, though. It's, it's kind of cool. It's like a homestead. I mean, look, I'm... No. Look, I'm not saying this is my... Like, the outside is ideal, but if you look on the inside pictures... Ugh. Go away. Adver- we got to get better at these ads. Yeah. If you look at the pictures inside, it's quite pretty. It's got like a... Be- look Look at that. Here we go. Okay, that's kind of nice. It's peaceful. Yeah. And the interiors have these big fireplaces. That does look hot. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> look at that thing. That looks so haunted. Right? It's like you're on this weird little hill. And there's no one around. You're surrounded by a forest. If you go back to the images, you can see it's... Re- there's one that's... um. A bird's eye view of it, and it's really isolated. Wow. Yeah, this looks super creepy. I don't know if I could do that kind of house, though, honestly. I do like... Look at uh, the interiors, though. The interiors are actually really nice. You've got to exit out the images. Would you dare to stay at the Conjuring house? Here we go. I think it's so pretty. The interior does look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Like, look at that. Yeah, it's kind of cool and rustic. Why not? What happened to Google Images? So this is what you do. You have to click out the X on the corner. And now you can scroll because I was showing you links to the picture you clicked. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, there we go. That's the one right there. That's the one you want. <laughs> yeah, I want her. <laughs> okay, the interior is not that bad. Look up Conjuring you can House see Interior. It. Interior. It needs some work. Don't get me wrong. Conjuring. Oh, is it a different house in Conjuring Three? But look at that fireplace. Yeah, that does look pretty cool. Can we That's go that kind one? of no. sweet and lovely. And you can have pumpkins around. And it could be all rustic and cute. Yeah, you can have pumpkins around. It could be all rusted and cute until Satan comes to visit. 
<laughs> Instead of Santa or Christmas, yeah. Satan. You leave cookies out for Satan. <laughs> exactly. I quite like old buildings like that, though. Me too. I do like old buildings. Yeah. Like this is a landmark building here, right? This is an old building. Yeah. It used to be a women's rights location, a brothel, yeah. and an old uh, uh, restaurant. We should do a seance here one day. See what comes up. Ooh, you don't want. I don't like Ouija that. boards, though. I don't want to fuck around. You with don't want to mess with that. You is the guy still in the chat? Does he still think we're fake? I don't know. Probably. You know, I think he was trying to say hello, and he probably thinks that we're just a recording. Oh, you know what I'm that's saying? what he means. He's like, oh, these aren't even live, live people, you know? That makes sense. Yeah, but it's all good. All right. Okay, fantastic. I think uh, I think we covered everything today, right? We should so. wrap it up. I mean, we, we got through a lot. It's pretty good. We did. We talked a lot. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and check us out next week. Um, Broken Spoken. Mariel, do you have anything to add? Nope, just we'll be back with more current events and fun things to talk about. Fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.